incoming chair, His Excellency Erminio Sani Coloma, the Philippine Presidential Communications Secretary, to accept the chairmanship and to give the keynote address. In behalf of the government and the people of the Republic of the Philippines, we gratefully and humbly accept the chairmanship of AMRI in this 13th conference of the ASEAN ministers responsible for information. Thank you. Excellencies, esteemed colleagues, national delegations, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. In behalf of President Benigno S. Aquino III and the Filipino people, I welcome all of you to this 13th Conference of the ASEAN Ministers Responsible for Information, or AMRI. We have chosen Lapu-Lapu City on the island of Cebu to be the venue of our senior officials and ministers' conferences, as it provides all of us a comfortable and picturesque venue for carrying out our collective tasks in the service of ASEAN. Please join me in thanking our gracious host, the Honorable Mayor Paz Radaza of Lapu-Lapu City. Please take a bow. <laughs> Let's manifest our appreciation to Mayor Paz Radasa by giving her a rousing round of applause. Last November in Kuala Lumpur, the leaders of our countries formally inaugurated the ASEAN Economic Community with the declaration on ASEAN 2025, forging ahead together the vision statement that describes the journey of community building over the next 10 years. Our collective vision is clear. We want to establish an ASEAN community. That is politically cohesive, economically integrated, and socially responsible. The title conferred by ASEAN upon us is singularly unique. There are foreign ministers, trade ministers, labor ministers, health ministers, and tourism ministers. But we are not simply called information ministers. We are the ASEAN ministers responsible for information. We are responsible for informing the world, the public, and all the stakeholders about ASEAN. Clearly, our role is to serve as the communicators of ASEAN, which encompasses its three pillars, the political security community, the economic community, and the socio-cultural community. Our primary task is to create and enhance awareness about ASEAN and its vision so that the peoples of ASEAN may enthusiastically embrace and carry out our shared goals and aspirations toward a unified community. For the past two days, our senior officials have been hard at work in fleshing out various initiatives and programs, including preparations for the celebration of ASEAN's 50th founding anniversary next year. We note that our senior officials are so persistent and persevering that they are now in their 14th conference while it is only our 13th conference. They also meet every year while we meet only once every two years. We have every reason to expect, therefore, that their, facilitator, their efforts will facilitate and fast-track the implementation of action programs in ASEAN community building. We also acknowledge the support and presence of our dialogue partners with whom we will meet this afternoon. I wish to end these brief remarks by echoing these words from an educator. A world community can only exist with world communication, which means more than extensive software facilities, 
scattered about the globe. It means common understanding, a common tradition, and common ideals. Indeed, our shared vision of one ASEAN will be attained if we are truly determined to build a unified community. Welcome to the 13th AMRI Conference, Mabuhay.